Now this burrito will blow your mind. That's exactly what happened to me. What's up folks, it's Mikko here, this is Project Boxy. And today we are going to make a burrito so delicious, it will change the way you think about the whole Tex-Mex situation. Yeah, I know it's a bold statement, but just stick with me today. And now before we jump into the actual cooking business here, I just want to thank you all subscribers and non-subscribers for checking out my videos. We have seen a good growth here on my channel lately, and mark my words, it's a good thing for both of us. This will lead to a very good things for you guys going forward. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And now, sit back, grab a drink, relax and enjoy the show. Okay, first up, let's go through what you're going to see me cooking here today. Let me just show you all the ingredients we're going to be using today. You can also find all the ingredients down below. So for the actual burritos, we have some tortillas here. Black beans. Rice, which I will cook shortly, jalapenos, some really nice and crunchy salad greens, and then ground pork, which is actually a sausage, or used to be a sausage. It has got this spicy paprika as well as other spices out there, a little smoky flavor, it's really good. Then I will throw in a salsa and guacamole, so we got tomatoes, lime, different kind of spices, avocado, cilantro, red onion and chili peppers. As you can see we have a lot going on, so we better get going now. Let's start with the salsa and guacamole. Okay, let's start by making the guacamole. So we need two avocados first. Let's cut them open, take off the seed. And remember, the avocados need to be ripe. These are pretty small though. Now let's put the avocados in a bowl. And make sure you get rid of this. And there is another one. Oops. Off. Okay, and now you make the avocado as kind of like paste. And this is where you need the avocado to be ripe. Okay, and we are looking for this paste kind of consistency. That's good now. Then we will take a couple of red onions. And then cut them like in really small pieces like this. And you don't need much. These are like really small ones. So probably one small one will do. Then put it in a bowl. And if you have the stalks, don't throw them away. You can use them later on for something else, which I will do. I'm not gonna use them today. Now I like my guacamole a little bit spicy hot, so I will add um, half of the red chili. And then just a couple of jalapenos as well. And again, if you can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, don't put the chili in and the jalapenos, of course. Like so. Then we need a little bit of coriander or cilantro, however you call this thing. And again, it's pretty much optional. I love cilantro, so I, I like to use it a lot. But if you don't like cilantro at all, just leave it away. And yeah, I almost forgot I like my guacamole a little bit garlicky, so I'll go in with two garlic cloves. Then the juice of one lime. 
I'll actually start with only half. This is pretty big lime. Okay, and then we mix. Now let's have a taste of the guacamole we just made. Mmm, it's really good even though we haven't added any spices yet. Now let's put some salt and cumin in. You don't need much salt because you want this guacamole to be right, really fresh. Then a little bit of cumin, not much. And then we just mix. Now another taste. Mm. Yeah, now the saltiness comes in. This little nice Tex-Mex kick from the cumin, oh it's perfect. And now that our guacamole is ready, let's move into the salsa business. Now let's clean film the guacamole and put it in a fridge to develop those big flavors. Okay, and here comes the salsa. So we will first cut and de the tomatoes. Cut it in half. Scrape off the seeds. You don't want any extra moisture in your salsa. Just like this. Really easy. I will use three tomatoes today. The good thing about salsa and guacamole is that you can you can use it with anything really. So good. Alright, here we go. Alright, and when you have your tomatoes you start the cutting process. And I usually like to cut chunks like this, little cubes. Oh man, I need to sharpen my knife soon. Alright, there you got your tomatoes. Now go in with either red or yellow onions. I will use these red onions because I have them here. Just like this. And again, I like a little bit of heat in my salsa. So I'll add in jalapenos and chili. And now we give it a final touch by adding a bit of lime. Half a lime, little salt and pepper. And now this is only me, but I like to add a bit of chipotle chili as well as smoked paprika. It's up to you, man. Not too much. And then we mix. Now it's time to taste. Something is definitely missing. Silhandro. Totally next level. Now let's put it in a small bowl in the fridge and we move into the rice and meat section. Mm. 
Now start the rice making by rinsing off the rice in cold water. And this is done to get rid of the excess starch on the rice, on the surface of the rice. Now I have a rice cooker so it takes out all the guesswork, but now prepare your rice as you wish. And now what is special about this cook is that I'm actually cooking the rice in a chicken stock. Now this is the time to take out your pan and start cooking the meat. Now that the pan is hot, we can go in with the meat. And now throw in some beans at the end of the cook. Okay, and we are done. And all we need to do now is to wait until the rice is ready. Okay, so we've got the rice cooked in chicken stock, we've got the meat with beans, the salsa, the guacamole, shredded cheddar cheese, jalapenos, crunchy salad greens and tortillas. Now let's start building this bad boy. First let's just heat up a tortilla on a hot pan. And it doesn't need to be too hot, just to make it soft. Now take a bit of that rice on the bottom. Now I'm going to add some cheese. Then comes the meat. Then the salsa. And guacamole. This is when you can add a little bit of greens. And go in with a few jalapenos if you wish. Now try to close this thing up, good luck with that. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. Now the last thing is to warm it on a pan. Now that's just to give it some nice color. Now let's cut it open. Now this burrito will blow your mind. Okay, I'm really happy how they turned. The only thing I would change is to get a little bit bigger tortillas so I could get more stuff in. I haven't been able to find big tortillas here in Finland if you know where to get them, hit me. Anyway, now it's time to taste. I'm going in. This is just extra good. Okay, <laughs> the flavor is just 
big. The spiciness of the meat, the fresh, absolutely beautiful flavors of guacamole and salsa, the crunch of the salad greens, and man, this rice. It kicks ass. If you're making rice, make it in chicken stock, it just enhances the flavor a lot. It's really good stuff. Mm. And now, as usual, is beer time. I am fortunate enough to have a contact in Cheltenham where they approve is from. I get to taste these new beers straight from the brewery, fresh. Today's beer we have a momentary bliss. It's a double IPA, 8%. Let's have a try. Wow, the smell is so good. This hazy double IPA, very good smell. Let's have a taste. That's off to this beer. It's beautiful, very good stuff. Anyway guys, please hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this video and want to see more. And don't forget that little bell next to the subscribe button. That's when you get notified whenever I upload a new video. All of you folks, have a good one. See you on the flip side.